Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on sabotaging the alarm. So as you know, if I got detected while there is an alarm, the alarm will be turned on in a while. See? Alarm is turned on. Uh, but if I destroy the alarm first, So now I have been detected, but the enemies can't turn on the alarm. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna work on today. Right, so at the moment what happens is, uh, is if I get spotted by these enemies, uh, in a while they can turn on the alarm without any other conditions so what I want to implement is sabotaging this alarm so that means uh, if I have already destroyed this alarm uh, control unit the enemies should not be able to turn the alarm on but before that I think this the whole so did I get spotted? Yeah, it's okay. Let me just shoot it down. Okay, I destroyed it and it vanished. That's because this is a child of uh, the explosive barrel and also a child of this one uh, so i have designed those things in such a way that after exploding those enemy uh, those uh, objects are destroyed so i want to prevent that for the alarm tower so because it doesn't look nice if this the whole tower vanishes after i shoot it it doesn't make sense so let me open the blueprint here um, so let me show you the place that I destroy the object it should be in explosive barrel yeah I have set time span no Uh, not set time and span, set life span. So this one, this is the node that is responsible for uh, destroying the object. That means just completely remove the object from the object instance from the game. So what I need to do is prevent this happening. Uh, so I can either this destruct mesh is. Uh, should be a custom event oh no it's not a custom event it's explode is the custom event this is just a collapsed part so what if I add a boolean That says uh, destroy after explosion. Let me promote this as destroy after explosion. Oh wait, if I uh, if I make uh, implement it this way. Uh, yeah, I, I could simply implement it this way and for the alarm tower, I could set it to false so it won't go away at all but uh, let me just move it here only for two for these of testing make it this and enable silence okay so
so oh wait why did it vanish because i did set this to false here Okay, then what's happening? Let's see. We don't have any references to alert tower. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Here I am setting the lifespan of this spawned damage uh, force field. That's not exactly what I should do. Um, mm, that's not exactly where I should have implemented this. So let me get rid of that. Let's see where do we fade here it's here this one this is called before the disrupt mesh part here i set the lifespan to five seconds and i just remembered one more thing uh here read this uh, description set the lifespan of the acceptor when it expires the object uh, it expires the object will be destroyed if requested lifespan is zero the timer clear and the actor will not be destroyed okay so instead of this one we can use promote this and name it uh, off to explode lifespan so by default it should have five yeah for the tower let's make it zero just zero so it will not be destroyed let's see so it's not destroyed okay and also one more thing even uh, even if I destroy the control unit, since the actor is there, alarm turns on, which is not something I want to happen. So to prevent that, uh, let's see. Let's have another boolean that says exploded by default it should be false and here once we call explode let's set it to true and then for the alarm tower we have toggle alarm here in order to activate the alarm mm, it should not have destroyed exploded so let's have a branch here get exploded get not if it is not exploded then we can turn on the alarm right right now let's check Now, if 
even if I get detected, that alarm should not turn off. Let's see. See, alarm is not turning off. Okay. So that's all I wanted to cover in this episode and in the next time I want to implement oh before uh, yeah I want to implement um, at the moment it's just turn on the sound and turn on the lights but that's about it instead of that I need something like the alarm is actually triggering these AIs in the distance or maybe calling some backups uh, I want to do something like that rather than just having a sound and lights so I need to address that uh, and one more thing we should add check before I stop this episode is because now that I don't uh, destroy the object what happened to these debris to this step forever Mm, because that's uh, I don't think it's good to keep all the destructed objects in the level so maybe we should destroy let's just call destroy this just this just to be safe let's see if things are still working correctly Well, I think they are working. Oh, that's a bug. That's a bug with the LS system sometimes. Okay, alarm is not turning on and everything is working as intended. Alright, so I'm gonna stop this episode right here. And thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available in the Patreon page for the download. Link would be in the description below. And if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.